Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Minute Mondays with Matt. Uh, glad to be back. As you know, last week I unfortunately had to miss, but uh, for good reason, as my beautiful wife Stephanie gave birth to our second son, uh, Grayson Porter Hazard, last Sunday, and we couldn't be happier with it. Uh, I want to thank everybody for their well wishes uh, during this time. Uh, Grayson was born eight pounds three ounces and is home. Uh, mommy and baby are both happy and healthy, so uh, we're really excited for this next chapter of our lives uh, to continue here at Cooperstown. Um, we're on location here today again uh, for Minute Mondays as we come to you live from the Fenimore Art Museum, uh, one of the locations for National History Day here in Cooperstown. Um, this day is special for this community every single year as we welcome over 500 students as well as their families to the community as they make presentations on different school projects that they've been working on uh, throughout the year in hopes that they will advance to uh, the next stage of the competition. Uh, look, Fenimore Art Museum is just one of the locations for this competition today as the Farmers Museum, the National Baseball Hall of Fame, the Otisaga, as well as the Clark Sports Center all are playing host uh, for many of the different uh, competitions that are happening today. So uh, it's also an exciting time for Cooperstown Main Street as many of the local storefronts and restaurants will get an extra splurge uh, today with the added influx of students and families that will be here in Cooperstown. So we're all excited for this day. Uh, and so we welcome them to Cooperstown and hope that everybody has a successful National History Day today. Um, as you can see, we're under sunshine, which is amazing, and I dare say that spring has sprung here in Cooperstown. Uh, we're all excited to have some sunlight, uh, get out of that cabin fever, and back in, onto the streets. Later this week, Doubleday Field will officially be opening, um, hopefully pending any uh, rain weather that may be coming. But that's always a great sign for the community as uh, baseball games uh, will start taking place at the facility and Main Street will uh, feel the repercussions of that uh, business that will be coming in. So uh, we're excited to have that and also new or some of the store owners have returned back to Main Street and they will be opening up their storefronts either if they haven't done so already later this week, including Baseballism, uh, which just recently opened up its renovations over the weekend. The timing of, of all of this is so great because if anybody has seen in recent days, uh, Cooperstown was just recently named the number two small town in America to visit, only behind Cape Cod uh, by Expedia.com. Uh, that's a great uh, honor that we will obviously hang our hat on here in Cooperstown in the Chamber of Commerce as it just reinforces the idea that we all know, which is that Cooperstown is such a great and beautiful place uh, not only to live but to visit. I want to take this time and congratulate one of our Chamber Hall of Fame honorees this year, the Susquehanna Animal Shelter and the Executive Director Stacey Haynes for the work that they've done over the past week as we all saw in the local papers and on social media. They saved over a hundred um, animals uh, last week from a new Lisbon home and the work that they do on an annual basis is uh, tremendous and we just want to spend, send special congratulations to them uh, for the work that they accomplished over the last week. I also want to send a special congratulations to Brian Robleski and his family uh, the, who's the owner of and chef of Melza 22 uh, for recently finalizing the sale of uh, the purchase of the restaurant building uh, right there on the corner of Main and Chestnut Street. Uh, it's a great to have uh, their energy on Main Street and we wish to uh, congratulate them on that. In celebration they've been doing a lot of renovations uh, over the last week and will be reopening this week uh, for the season and then after the summer season they will be uh, doing some additional renovations in preparation for 2019. So we're all excited to see what what that future holds. Uh, this is also a great time of year where people are starting to look for summer jobs. Main Street is starting to show help wanted signs looking for seasonal help uh, as well as the village of Cooperstown is looking for lifeguards with uh, both Ferry Springs and Three Mile Point. We as a community need to uh, rely on seasonal help and we hope that everybody gets out there and we encourage them to get out and apply and look for the job that would be best for them this upcoming year. Now looking ahead at this week, the In Motion as well as Possum's Persimmon Picnic are still uh, exhibiting at the Cooperstown Art Association located in Village Hall at 22 Main. Uh, also later this week, the Mopar Cams are playing at Red Shed Brewery 
And also don't forget that Friday night game night is still uh, going on at Riverwood Gifts. And they will. Be, this is actually the second to last one this week. So we encourage everybody to get out and have some fun. Well, we hope that everybody gets out and really gets under the sun and enjoys a lot of the outdoor activities that Cooperstown has to offer. Uh, we encourage you to get out and enjoy uh, this springtime that hopefully has here to stay. So until next week, I thank you very much. Thank you for joining us and look forward to talking to you at Minute Mondays next week.